What makes this physique so aesthetic? What makes this physique so much more aesthetic than this attraction? The answer is simple, muscle mass. What type of muscle builds an attractive and aesthetic physique? And what type of muscle can absolutely ruin your physique? Well, the answer is here. Today, I'm gonna create a tier list, ranking all the popular muscle groups on a tier list based on aesthetics and ranking them based on two factors. Number one is the impact the muscle group will have on your physique if you lack it. And number two, the overall contribution of that muscle group to your physique. Today, we're going to find this out. Now, starting off in F tier, I have to say it. I'm going to get a lot of people mad, but I'm going to place the calf muscle. No, the no. calf muscle is overrated for two reasons. Number one, the calf muscle does not play a big role in aesthetics, in overall aesthetics. Note that all aesthetic physiques, even including Chris Bumstead, they all have small to middle sized calves. And number two, calves could actually ruin your physique. Having too big of calves can actually make you look blocky and unathletic, which is the opposite of attractive. Because of the fact that calves don't actually add up to your overall physique and it can actually absolutely ruin your physique, calf muscle is placed in F tier. We have to go all the way up to B tier to get to our next muscle group. Now in B tier, we're gonna have the muscle groups that play an important role in expressing power and strength. However, they don't add to the overall shape of the body and that is the chest and the arms. If you lack these muscle groups, your physique can get absolutely destroyed. No, Having no. small arms and no chest is a lack of power and strength because the arms and chest are the first thing a person looks at at your overall physique. Big arms and big chest are a sign of power and strength and therefore makes you more aesthetic. However, the only problem with these muscle groups is they don't add to the overall shape of the body. They don't help create the men's V taper, which makes men 9,000 times more aesthetic. Furthermore, these muscle groups are really only visible from the front, which makes them completely irrelevant unless you look at somebody from the front. However, because of the fact that your physique will struggle if you lack these two muscle groups, I have to give them an above average rating on the tier list. Now moving on to A tier, we're going to have all the major leg muscles except for the caps. These are the quads, the hamstrings, and the glutes. What makes them rank so highly up is not so much they contribute to aesthetics, it's because if you lack any of these muscle groups, you will look stupid. You will look weak, you will look dumb, and of course you look stupid. You look like you skip leg day. Having a big upper body, but tiny legs will absolutely ruin your physique no matter how good your upper body is. Having athletic muscular legs shows that you are capable of running, sprinting, changing direction, jumping, etc etc very easily which shows signs of athleticism and physical competence which i've explained before in my men's physique rating video that it's very attractive at the end of the day if you have tiny legs it will not only make you look weak it will make you look kind of stupid however leg muscle groups are not an s tier for one main reason they do not contribute to the overall shape of your body which is why you're stuck in A tier. Now in S tier, we're gonna get a little bit packed and crowded because there are a lot of muscle groups that are extremely important for the aesthetic physique. The first step is the back and the shoulders. These are the main muscle groups that are responsible for widening your physique, making that aesthetic V taper, and thus making you 9,000 times yes, more aesthetic. Yes, because yes. of the fact that the back and shoulders are the main muscle groups that create this shape in their man's human body, they earn an easy S tier. Furthermore, the back can be seen from the front and the shoulders can be seen from the back, further proving their importance in aesthetics. Now, the second to last muscle group is actually your face or your jaw. Now, many of you might be complaining that the face isn't a muscle, but actually the jaw is. But instead of just ranking the jawline, we're going to be ranking the entire face because just ranking the jaw will be kind of boring. Having a cleaned up face with a defined jawline is the most aesthetic thing you could ever have. The first thing that people look at is not your chest, not your arms, but actually your face. So one, having no acne, and two, having a defined jawline and not being too chubby can make your face that much more aesthetic. And finally, we have the most aesthetic muscle group. And you guessed it, it's the abs. Do not lie to yourself when you started working out. You wanted abs. You didn't care about shoulders. You didn't care about backs. You didn't care about your arms. You just wanted abs. If you have all the muscle groups but lack abs, compared to a guy who lacks all the muscle groups but only has abs, I guarantee you the guy who only has abs will completely destroy the other guy. In terms of aesthetics, abs are a sign of low body fat and the complete opposite of the dad bod. They help show that you are fit and physically competent because of the fact that you have low body fat. They are a sign of power and strength. 
because of the importance of the abdominal muscles. They earn an easy top tier S tier rating in this tier list. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe. I'm trying to hit 1,000 subscribers by the end of the year. If you don't subscribe, I'll come to your house.